So in this video we're gonna check all available gestures and motions on Motorola Edge 50 Fusion. To do this first we'll need to open our settings, inside scroll down and look for the gestures, enter it and right here we have all of the options available. First one being navigation mode and here you can choose how to navigate your phone either by three buttons or gestures. If you decide on three buttons, they will show up at the bottom of your screen and here you can go back, you can also open your home screen or check all of the opened apps. And the next one is gesture navigations and here the buttons are gone. We can navigate our phone like this so we can swipe to the left to go back, swipe up to uh, open uh, our home screen, swipe up and hold to open all of the apps uh, running. Then we have the sidebar and when activated you will get the sidebar on the right side of your phone and when you slide it out like this I recommend to use it with three buttons because as you just saw it's really hard to get it out without those buttons because the gestures just pop up or actually sorry I didn't see that so never mind, you just need to find that line, it's right here, and it should open the sidebar from which you can open any apps that are available, or you can customize it by clicking on the dots and just open whichever app you want. Now we can go back and navigate to one-handed mode. Here, scroll down and enable one-handed mode shortcut. When you click on it, you will get the phone basically cut in half, and you can access your notification bar without using two hands. Let's disable it for now and move on. We have swipe to split and perform something like it's shown on this animation when it's activated to split your phone in half again and that way you can open one app on top and another one at the bottom. But this feature doesn't work for me, you can try it if you like. Uh, let's try it again now. Let's try opening other app as well, like Google Chrome. Okay, whatever, it doesn't work for me. You can try it if you like, of course. Then there's a three finger screenshot. When activated, you can hold your three fingers onto the screen to take a screenshot. Then next one is double press power key to launch camera. And uh, it works like this and should also work from the lock screen. Next is uh, press and hold power button to access your digital assistant. In this case, Google Assistant works like this. And then we have uh, the media controls. So when your phone is locked, you can control uh, multimedia. So either play, pause or uh, skip or to previous or next track. So it works like this. If you want to play, let's click on learn more actually. When uh, screen is off, press and hold the volume up key to go to the next track. When the screen is off, press and hold volume down key to go to the previous track. To adjust the volume, tap and release the volume up and down keys. So just don't hold them, tap on them to change volume. Okay, next one is a quick launch. So when activated, you can double tap on the, the back of your phone somewhere around here to make one of the custom actions. And to customize those actions, click on the gear icon in the bottom left corner. You can also adjust the tap strength, but in this case, we can also change the uh, what we want to launch. So let's go with, uh, take a screenshot, go back, make sure it's activated. Then I'm gonna tap right here. And as usual on Motorola phone, oh yeah, it works, but after like seventh try. So if you want, you can try it as well. Then we have the uh, quick capture. If you twist your wrist like this, it should open a camera. 
then we have fast flashlight you need to perform something like a handshake with your phone to enable or disable flashlight and surprisingly it actually works and then we have lift to unlock and when activated we also need to set up our face unlock i'm not gonna do that but basically what it does when you have your face unlock set up you can unlock your phone or wake it up when it's locked by just looking at the screen then there's a pick up to silence when activated and you receive a call you can pick up your phone and this should silence a ringtone and the last one is flip for dnd when activated you can flip your phone screen to the table and it should mute all incoming calls and basically enter dnd do not disturb mode and that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave like and a comment below